Catholic Daily Journal for Friday, February the 8th, 2019. Today is the feast day of St. Josephine Bakhita, born in 1869 in Darfur, Sudan. She was captured and enslaved by Arab Muslims who forced her to convert to Islam. She was bought and sold many times and ended up in Italy serving the Micheli family. Josephine was placed in the care of a convent of nuns for several months while the family made arrangements to relocate, and that was when Josephine first encountered Christianity. When her owner came to collect her, Josephine and the nuns refused to go. They refused to give her up. And because Italian law did not recognize slavery, she was, for all intents and purposes, freed from her bondage. Two months later, Josephine was baptized with the name Josephine Margaret Fortunata, which is the Italian translation of Bacchita, which means lucky. She was then confirmed and received First Holy Communion from the local Archbishop, Giuseppe Sarto, who some will recognize as the future Pope St. Pius X. She became a religious sister herself and lived in the Vincenza region of northeastern Italy. She had a great reputation for holiness and wise counsel. She was canonized by Pope St. John Paul II in October 2000. Today in 1946, as Sister Josephine Bakhita was entering the last year of her life on this earth, the first part of a phased publication of the Revised Standard Version of the Bible went public. For the first time, an English translation of the Bible actually rivaled the King James Version. The Revised part is a reference to the American Standard Bible published in 1901 as an effort to create a text readable by modern English speakers. But World War I, the Great Depression, World War II interrupted efforts by the original team of translators for the ASV. And so the RSV was a new take on the project. In 1966, the Catholic version was completed and in 2006, a second updated Catholic version, the new revised standard version, was published, and it is by far the best English translation of the Bible today. The RSV tried to retain the poetry of the King James and the artful wordplay and puns of the scripture itself while setting aside the excess prepositions, which makes the King James somewhat difficult to read. Verily in sooth unto we can all agree wherefore. Catholics attending Sunday Mass are hearing the New American Bible which is the quintessential committee project translation. It manages to miss the poetry, ignore the art, and miss the simplicity of the RSV. While the NAB is a must for preachers, the RSV is the best for Bible study, personal prayer, and memorization. And it was published today in 1946. Finally, today is the birthday of Jules Verne, the French master of surreal literature. He was born in 1828 and quickly distinguished himself in recitation from memory, geography, Greek, Latin, and singing. He was a gifted storyteller and poet. And while there's much more to say about his legacy in France, Verne is best known to English speakers through the abridged translations of his surreal stories that are published in English as science fiction or fantasy or a kind of subgenre that we call steampunk. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Journey to the Center of the Earth, and From the Earth to the Moon in particular, were reframed from deep-thinking surrealist novels to quick-paced serialized stories that many of us grew up reading. Even so, Verne's work is credited by philosophers, scientists, and authors in English and in French as instrumental in the way in which modernity has been imagined, considered, and ultimately realized. Jules Verne died in 1905 at the age of 77. He was born today in 1828. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.